Give me an R. R, give me an E. E, give me an A. A, give me a D. D, what does that spell? Read. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Storytime with Mrs. Big. How are you all today? Let's move on to another selected stories for my traveling story time with Mrs. Big. And our story is a chapter story and it's called Charlie and Mouse by Laurel Snyder, illustrated by Emily Hughes. So let's begin. Contents, lumps, the party, rocks, and bedtime, band, nana, banana, excuse me, lumps. Charlie woke up. There was a lump beside him. He poked the lump. The lump moaned. Are you awake? Charlie asked. No, said the lump. I am sleeping. How can you be sleeping? asked Charlie. You are talking. The lump stopped talking. Charlie poked the lump again. Get up, he said to the lump. The lump did not get up. Get up, Charlie said to the lump. Today is the neighborhood party. It is? asked the lump. Yes, it is, said Charlie. The lump turned into Mouse. Mouse ran down the hall. Mom, said Mouse. Dad, he opened a door. He found two lumps. Mouse poked one of the lumps. Are you awake? No, said the lump. We are sleeping. How can you be sleeping? asked Mouse. You are talking. I am mom, said the lump. I can do what I want. The party. Hurrah! Today is the party, shouted Charlie. Today is the neighborhood party, shouted Mouse. Everyone will be there, shouted Charlie. They danced around the kitchen. Where is the party going to be, asked Dad. It is at the playground, said Charlie. When is it going to be, asked Mom. Now, said Charlie. Sounds fun, said Dad. I'll bring cookies. The four of them set out. They pulled blanket into the wagon. They brought cookies. Halfway down the street, Charlie and Mouse saw Helen, Lily, and Sam. Helen and Lily were climbing a tree. Sam was watching. Where are you going? asked Lily. Today is the neighborhood party, shouted Mouse. Come on. Helen and Lily and Sam followed the wagon. A few houses down, Charlie and Mouse saw Jack and Max. Jack and Max were digging a hole. Where are you going? asked Jack. Today is the neighborhood party, shouted Charlie. Come on! Jack and Max followed Helen and Lily and Sam, who followed the wagon. When they turned onto Woodland Avenue, Charlie and Mouse saw Tess and Lottie. Tess and Lottie were playing on the porch. Where are you going? asked Tess. Today is the neighborhood party, shouted everyone. Come on! Tess and Lottie followed Jack and Max, who followed Helen and Lily and Sam, who followed the wagon. Charlie and Mouse passed Spencer's house. They passed Marley's house. They passed Nora Ann's house. Baby Sylvia rode in the dragon with blanket. Soon they could all see the playground. Hurrah! shouted Charlie. Soon we will be at the party. They got to the playground. The playground was empty. Nobody was there. It was the best party ever. Rocks. I wish I had some money, said Charlie. Yes, said Mouse. I wish I had some money too. How can we get some money, asked Charlie. That is a good question, asked Mouse, said Mouse. Let me think. Mouse thought, I know, said Mouse, we will sell something. That is a good idea, said Charlie, but what will we sell? Let me think again, said Mouse. Mouse thought, I know, said Mouse, we have lots of rocks. We will sell rocks. That is a good idea, said Charlie. You are very smart, Mouse. Thank you, said Mouse. Charlie and Mouse loaded the wagon with their very best rocks. They pulled the wagon down the street. They pulled it to Mr. Eric and Mr. Michael's house. They knocked on the door. 
Do you need any rocks today, asked Mouse. No, said Mr. Eric. We have too many rocks already. But if you will take ours away, I will give you a dollar. Okay, said Charlie. Okay, said Mouse. Charlie and Mouse took away Mr. Eric's rocks. Charlie and Mouse pulled their wagon to Miss Margaret's house. They knocked on her door. Do you need any rocks today? Asked Charlie. Heavens no, said Miss Margaret. My garden is full of them, but if you will dig them up, I will pay you a dollar. Charlie and Mouse dug up Miss Margaret's rocks. They tried to pull the wagon home. It was very hard. Charlie and Mouse stopped to rest. They were very hard. They were very tired. Probably we need a snack, said Charlie, to sustain us. Good thinking, said Mouse. I wish I had some money, said Charlie. Bedtime banana. Charlie and Mouse were in their pajamas. They brushed their teeth. Now it is time for bed, said Mom. Not without a story, said Charlie. No, said Mom, of course not. Not without a bedtime story. She read Charlie and Mouse a bedtime story. Now it is time for bed, said Mom. Not without a song, said Mouse. No, said Mom, of course not. Not without a bedtime song. She sang Charlie and Mouse a bedtime song. Now it is time for bed, said Mom. Not without a banana, said Charlie. A banana, said Mom. We need a banana, said Charlie. You need a banana? Mouse nodded. Charlie is right, he said. We cannot go to sleep without a bedtime banana. I have never heard of a bedtime banana, said Mom. Is that a thing? Charlie and Mouse nodded. It's a thing. Okay, said Mom. Two bedtime bananas. Coming right up, Mom brought them each a banana. Charlie and Mouse ate their bananas. Now you will have to brush your teeth again, said Mom. Charlie brushed his teeth. Mom Br Mouse brushed his teeth. They climbed back into bed. Mom turned off the light. Sweet dreams, little monkeys, she said. Good night, Mom, said Charlie. Good night, Mom, said Mouse. Mom left the room. Charlie poked the mouse. Hey, Mouse, he said. Are you still awake? No, said Mouse. I'm sleeping. But what is it? I was thinking, said Charlie. Tomorrow we should ask for a bedtime popsicle. Good idea, said Mouse. Yes, said Charlie. It is. Charlie thought about popsicles. He started to feel sleepy. He turned over. There was a lump beside him in the bed. It was a very nice lump. Good night, said Charlie. He patted the lump. I'm sleeping, said the lump. I can't hear you. The end. What a delightful story about Charlie and Mouse. I hope you enjoyed this selection. Until next time, see you soon. Bye now.